to Olympic Stadium in Montreal for the final series of the season between the Phillies and Expos. All eyes focus on these critical final three games. With both teams tied for first, the Expos must win two out of three to take the National League Eastern Division title. But Montreal lost the opener two to one, so game two is a must. In the first inning, Rodney Scott represents the game's first run. With the throw to first, Scott takes a big gamble and loses. In the top of the third, Major League home run king Mike Schmidt makes a bid for Philly Pater. Speedster Bake McBride tries a gamble of his own, but the Expos player of the year, Gary Carter, is equal to the challenge. In the third inning, with the score nothing to nothing, Jerry White decides it's time to round the bases the easy way. Montreal goes ahead two to nothing, and Expo fans are in hysterics, thanks to Jerry White's sixth home run. In the seventh, with Montreal's lead cut to one, Greg Luzinski turns the tables on the Expos. The Bull drives in two runs, and Philadelphia leads three to two. But thanks to heads-up baseball by Cromartie and Carter, the Expos remain in striking distance. And in the bottom of the seventh, strike back they did. Rodney Scott's double gives the Expos the lead four to three. Pinch hitter Bob Boone tied it up in the ninth. And with the score deadlocked in the 11th, Mike Schmidt delivers a bolt of lightning that lifts the Phillies to a 6-4 lead and leaves the stunned crowd in silence. For the clutch-hitting Schmidt, his 48th home run and fourth in four games. The Expos needed yet another miracle, but with Phillies relief ace Tug McGraw on the mound, it was not to be. Larry Parrish struck out. The Philadelphia Phillies were division champs for the fourth time in five years. The Expos finished runner-up to the eventual world champions for the second straight year. A big disappointment for a team which spent 81 days in first place.